What's up folks? So if you're here, you're probably wondering exactly how to wire in your whip lights. So we're gonna explain that really simply, really quickly for you. First of all, we've got the base to the whip light. These are quick disconnect whip lights. So we'll just take the base here. Starting with our base, we have two wires, a black wire and a red wire. We need to get those to a power source. Red is gonna be power, black is gonna be ground. So the first thing we did is we took some ground wire, black wire, so we keep this, the colors the same, and get it to the right length we need to ground it underneath the vehicle. Stripped one end of the ground wire, and we installed a male spade receptacle on it. That way these can be removable and removed from the mounts. Once we've got that terminal installed, we installed the other end on our receptacle here. On the end of this wire, we installed the ring terminal so that we can either self-tap or bolt that somewhere to the frame. Grounded that to the frame and attached our ground wire. Now we're grounded. Now that we're grounded, we're gonna go ahead and connect our 12 volt battery positive source. So on one end, we need to get that to the battery. So we run this wire along the vehicle, the chassis, zip tied it up there. Installed a ring terminal just like we did on the ground side, on this side. We're gonna leave this disconnected from the Jeep until we get the entire thing wired, but we need to figure out how long the wire needs to be, things like that. So boom, that's done and installed. Now in the middle of this wire, we want to allow ourselves the ability to turn power on and off to these lights. So we're gonna install a switch right there in the middle of that circuit. So on each side of the switch, we're gonna install a much smaller ring, much smaller ring terminal. and install that on our switch. So now we're, we got the hot wire at the battery and a switch right here. Let's hold that down. So now on the other side of the switch, we need another ring terminal. And that'll go to the second pole on the switch. Down here on this end, we want it quick disconnect again because it needs to be able to fit through the mounting hole we've created to mount this guy. We're going to install our male spade terminal. And on the base of our light, we're going to install the female end of that ring terminal or that uh, spade terminal. Install our wire, hook it into the battery, plug it in.